like somebody's playing with a drill inside my skull. You sure this is the place? It's the address in the report. Right. Okay. Let's get going. Sexiest androids in town. Now I know why you insisted on coming here. Oh boy. Welcome to Eden Club. Connor, the fuck are you doing? Coming, Lieutenant. The investigation's ongoing, sir. I can't tell you anything for the moment. Lieutenant Anderson and his plastic pet. The fuck are you two doing here? We've been assigned to all cases involving androids. Oh, yeah? Like wasting time. There's some pervert who, uh, <laughs> got more action than he could handle. <laughs> we'll have a look anyway, if you don't mind. <laughs> Come on, let's go. It's, uh, starting to stink of booze in here. Night, Lieutenant. of a heart attack. He was strangled. Yeah, I saw the bruising on the neck. Doesn't prove anything. Thing though, could have been a rough play. We're missing something here. Whoa, whoa, hey, hey, hey! Oh, Connor, you're so disgusting. I think I'm gonna puke again. way to access its memory is to reactivate it. Think you can do it? It's badly damaged. If I can, it'll only be for a minute, maybe less. I just hope it's long enough to learn something. with you. He wanted us to play with two girls. That's what he said. There was two of us. What model was the other android? Did it look like you? <sighs> so there was another android. This happened over an hour ago. It's probably long gone. No. It couldn't go outside dressed like that unnoticed. It might still be here. If you could find a deviant among all the other androids in this place. Deviants aren't easily detected. Oh, shit. 
There's gotta be some other way. Maybe an eyewitness, somebody who saw it leaving the room. I'm gonna go ask the manager a few questions about what he saw. You let me know if you think of anything. Did you know the victim? No, I mean, he came in maybe two, three times. I mean, these guys, they don't really talk very much, you know? They come in, do their business, and then go on their way. You ever had any trouble with androids before? No way. No. Once. We lost a model two, three months back with the same model. Excuse me, Lieutenant. Can you come here a second? Found something? Maybe. Can you rent this, Tracy? For fuck's sake, Connor, we got better things to do. Please, Lieutenant. Just trust me. Good on my expense account. Purchase confirmed. Eat Club wishes you a pleasant experience. You're welcome. Delighted to meet you. Follow me. I'll take you to your room. Okay, now what? Tracy, club policy is to wipe the android's memory every two hours. We only have a few minutes if we want to find another witness. Hey, what am I supposed to... Let's try this one. This better be worth it. saw the blue-haired Tracy. I know which way it went. Then go for it. There are androids everywhere. How are you gonna tell which one saw the Tracy with blue hair? I know which... Tracy didn't come this way. He didn't see anything. I made a mistake somewhere. This has got to be the most expensive investigation of my career. Thank <laughs> you. 
lost its track again. Take it from here. Look at them. They get used till they break and then they get tossed out. Thank you. 
They're getting away! Nothing to do with any of this. When that man killed that Tracy, I knew I was next. I was so scared. I begged him to stop, but he wouldn't. So I put my hands around his throat and I squeezed until he stopped moving. Yes, I killed him. But I was just defending myself. I wanted to live. I wanted to get back to the one I love. Forget about the humans, the smell of their sweat and their dirty words. But you've, you've taken her away from me. I love her. I loved her. Nice view, huh? I used to come here a lot before. Can I ask you a personal question, Lieutenant? Do all androids ask so many personal questions, or is it just you? Why are you so determined to kill yourself? Some things I just can't forget. Whatever I do, they're always there. Eating away at me. I don't have the guts to pull the trigger, so I kill myself a little every day. That's probably difficult for you to understand, huh, Connor? Nothing very rational about it. You should stop drinking, Lieutenant. It could have serious consequences for your health. That's the idea.
We're not making any progress on this investigation. The Deviants have nothing in common. They're all different models, produced at different times, in different places. Well, there must be some link. What they have in common is this obsession with RA-9. It's almost like some kind of myth. Something they invented that wasn't part of their original program. Androids believing in God. Fuck, what's this world coming to? You seem preoccupied, Lieutenant. Is it something to do with what happened back at the Eden Club? Those two girls, they just wanted to be together. They really seemed in love. Nothing in their program allows them to love or desire anything. They're machines. What about you, Connor? You look human, you sound human. But what are you really? I'm a machine designed to accomplish a task. Did you feel anything when that girl killed herself, Connor? Or did you just not give a shit one way or the other? Of course I didn't feel anything, Lieutenant. I'm a machine. Machines don't have emotions. I could kill you. You would just come back as if nothing happened. But are you afraid to die, Connor? Why would I be afraid? What'll happen if I pull this trigger? Hmm? Nothing? Oblivion? Android heaven? Where does all your anger come from, Lieutenant? Some... Unresolved trauma in your past? You think you're so fucking smart. Always one step ahead, huh? Tell me this, smart ass. How do I know you're not a deviant? I self-test regularly. I know what I am and what I am not. <laughs> 